Okay, so yeah, the order of the day. Get all that stuff away from these walls. These walls can come down. And after I get away from the walls, I'm gonna have to get away from these walls because these things, I need to move all this, clear all this out so that the walls can, you know, come tumbling down because once I start breaking them, they'll all come down, I'm sure. So, um, yeah, let me get to it. Well, got that part done. Looks like pretty much, uh, yeah. So this whole side, uh, I'm gonna take that window wood out of there. Let's take a look. It's pretty. It's old, the whole jam. Not sure how it was fixed, but we'll find out as soon as I start knocking it around. But before I do that, I gotta go to the outside part. You know, that stuff. And it's not heavy. Normally those concrete rings are pretty easy to deal with. You just you know, lift them up and roll. But these have cement bottoms. They've been sealed off, which is kind of okay because I'm gonna use them for something else. But uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Plant your feet firmly on the ground. Center your hands as if you're going to be doing a deadlift. And I'll try and lift that bitch. Boom! That's how you do it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get it going. Want to make sure I put it in the right place so I have to move it again. Number two. Careful. Number three. And this one did not want to cooperate. It's full of ants. It's full of ants. And it's got a solid bottom, as you can see. Right. What? Got her done. Well. Got those three rings out of the way. I just need to clear more of this. This wood. Oh, good. Oh, whoa. Lots of ants. I don't mind them black ants. They don't bite. They just feel creepy. Until you could. Whoa! Unless there's too many of them. Stomp your feet. We'll get most of them off. And that big old wood, no problem. This wood can be used for a lot of things. See that? It's like metal. Dog running after the neighbor. Yeah, well, this area clear enough for all the stuff to come down. Okay, well I've cleared away the the outside from the walls anyway. Knocked out that first wood frame as well. But uh, I thought I'd capture this one.
first to remove the thing of brace on the outside. This, this one might just, the door might come off. Oh, we've got a hinge. Ooh, the window opens. These are nails, and the other three are screws that have been sheared. So I pretty much have to rip that off. Get at it. When you're doing these nails and stuff that go into this teak wood, it's like welded in there, you know. You can break nails and break screws off in this stuff. I've had nails where I can't even nail into it. I get about that far and it just stops. You really have to have a, you know, new wood bits, drill it halfway, and then hit it with a nail or a screw. Oh my god. Fortunately, this one is old enough. Ah. Got enough moisture in there. Boom! That uh, come out of there easy enough. But, you know, I'd like to save this wood because it's good wood. A couple of gecko, gecko, gecko eggs in there. If you've never seen them, there. Uh, there are some gecko eggs. They will. Actually, this one's uh, will not be hatching. They will be knocked out of here. cross beam was nailed in this way so I guess I have to break the wall first take care of that okay, yeah so that delivery was we had two deliveries actually one one truck came and then the carry truck came right behind it the one, first truck was uh, orchids that Dot had ordered on Lazada and the second truck was a tripod that I ordered actually from Amazon in America because I had uh, credit on an account so I would use my VPN make them think I was in America but I was still able to ship it here. It only took like maybe two weeks, I guess. A little over two weeks, Amazon Prime. I also switched out the hammer so I get my little pony sledge. I think it's gonna be easier to knock out the wall around the frame. And try and hit the frame out.
<laughs> yeah, I don't have shoes on. I'm not wearing safety goggles. Because that's how we do stuff here. You see these walls? This is hollow block was left hollow for the most part. That's probably why the walls fell away, you know. Didn't have any anything to tie them together. It's all blades. So when I when I rebuild it, of course, I'll use rebar, cross tie it. Yeah. wall might actually come down before that frame comes out. Again, let me show you this, you know, this construction. These things are made, cut and groove there. Old school style. And I thought these beams were going to be nailed sideways. You know, thought they'd be nailed through here, but it's actually, uh, you know, cut out into the groove. So if I was trying to hammer this out, I would have to break this off. And you can't be breaking this teak. I tell you, it don't break too much at all. But, you know, over the years, it'll wear away, I suppose. But that's how it's done. Didn't need no nails. But, yeah, tough stuff. Anyway, it's in one, whoa. It's in one piece. I can probably still salvage that. Clean it all up. I wonder if they have teak wood filler. <laughs> all right, well, there you go one window frame out the door and you saw how easy it was to break that stuff so this wall is going to come down pretty easy matter of fact this will probably be the first wall to come down so y'all maybe stick around i'm gonna sort that wood out on the outside and then uh, maybe we'll knock this wall down oh it's quite satisfying All right, well, I am going to put my goggles on for this one. Mostly because I'm going to be hitting from overhead. And I don't want it to fall down behind my glasses. Or on my glasses. Scrape them up, you know. So. But shoes, eh. There you go. Oh, yeah, I was imagine, imagine a little bit shaking. And then when you're in here, that falling this way because it was weak. That'd be terrible.
try and make most of it, you know, fall away from me, right? Still got lizard eggs in here. like they tried to, you know, they had a solid uh, cement. Or maybe they just filled that in. And then, uh, you know, quick step to outside. This part here looks like it's almost like it was solid. Like it, like it normally should be, like a beam that's tied to this. But there's no tie. There's no tie in. One of the other reasons I want it to fall away from me is because I land on my toes. <laughs> Bar. But all it does, it's not even rebar, it's round steel. So, round steel tends to, in a vertical sense, I think it would tend to, you know, not grip like rebar does. But anyway, that doesn't do much except hold the wall apart together. Maybe, maybe at the bottom, they put rebar in the ground before they put the, you know, first row of uh, uh, bricks in there. I don't know. Let's see. Well, I made short order of this. Battery died on the camera, so I didn't get the final feet down but uh, this wall is gone ready for a new one kind of the bottom here check it out remember I'm not a construction expert but this part here seems to still be maybe that's a thicker cement still seems to be in line with, with the post and the post is you know I already did the post the post is true and solid um, this is moved away. I'm not sure why. It looks like they did put a piece of bar in there, but I'm not sure how that bar moved out like that, unless it was just like that. And then they, uh, where is it? Yeah, it was like that, and then they just filled it in or something. Maybe they built the foundation, they put these walls in, they built the foundation too long on the second one. And, well, I don't know. But what I know is this is uh, the build, the posts are true. This looks like it's and feels, uh, I haven't gone down there. I'll probably have to smash it. I was hoping maybe I could just chop that off, grind it off, and uh, build from it. But that whole wall only had this one round bar in it, about halfway up, but it wasn't in. Looks like maybe they tried to put it in there. Anyway, that is the first wall. And uh, I don't know that I want to do that one. And then this one today. 
one of the things I realized when I'm doing all this do-it-yourself stuff is that when I'm swinging a hammer, seems like shoveling dirt or whatever, digging, hacking with an axe and all that. Um, if you do that like all day, the next day, your shoulders, your elbows, not so much my back, but my arms, they're, they're dust. And then maybe even they're dust for a couple of days, so I lost a couple of days of work. So, I'm making an executive decision to say that's all for the wall today. Alright man, so uh, we will try and come back at you with the rest of the renovation on the out building because there's a lot to be done over there. And it's a, it's a big job. I can do it myself. But, I mean, nobody, we don't live in that building, so, you know, not too worried about code. <laughs> All right, man. Uncle Craig here on the Bond Knob. I'll see you later. Next video.